Hey there, Pogo. I'm Jennifer Angel, and these are your stars. Now, right now, you have Mars and Venus sitting in your 10th house of career. This is your solar house. And um, so the people that you meet at the moment, it's almost like you'll have a passionate connection with them. You'll know that um, what you're doing and where you're going, that you're meant to be together on this journey that you're uh, traveling along, um, which is very exciting. So uh, also there's a lunar, uh, not a lunar, I'm sorry, a solar eclipse in your 11th house. Just let me double check that. 11th house on the 1st. So this can bring partnerships together as well. Um, your friends that you meet and the people that you meet right now around this period seem to have a very significant uh, place or role to play in your life. You may not know it when you first meet them in some cases, um, and that'll be a surprise element. In other cases, there'll be a connection which is you just can't ignore, and you know that those people you're going to be combined with those people for a certain amount of time, uh, maybe for a project, maybe forever. Um, but one thing is for sure that the people you meet around this time are playing a huge role. Now communications um, will come through to you on an intuitive level. I'm just looking at my chart here just to make sure. But uh, you've also got um, Mercury, the planet of communication, moving into your 12th house. So that's going to spark communications of an intuitive uh, nature. Now, of course, as a Virgo, you're very much into your uh, logical, um, intellectual side, but um, all Virgos I've met are highly intuitive beings as, beings as well. And if you can combine your intuition with your logic, really, that's just a winning formula on all levels. So. Um, over this and the next month, listen to what your intuition is telling you. You're likely to get some very strong uh, messages through and um, perhaps even visions. So take note of that. Look for the signposts of synchronicity. And, uh, you know, when things fall into place, then, you know, that can mean sometimes it's meant to be. When things don't fall into place, um, you know, as a Virgo, of course, you're not one to ever give up, but um, sometimes things are just not meant to be. And over this period of time, it's almost like that. They either are or they aren't. So it's a very positive time for you to move ahead with, particularly with career Virgo. And I know that's music to your ears because I know quite a few Virgos and uh, things are starting to happen in your life and not before time either, okay? Um, have a great week, Virgo. Your key word for this week really is just to stay focused on your highest level of priority. Okay. Um, I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye.